Hey friends. Hey friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. This is a special Cook with Justin edition. Today we're making a really delicious and easy dinner and it is called creamy mushroom enchilada casserole. So stay tuned. So let's start off with all of the ingredients you're gonna need to make this recipe. You're gonna need two packages of mushrooms. I love a lot of mushrooms in this casserole. Uh, you're also gonna need some butter and some flour as well as some olive oil. You're gonna need a four ounce can of diced green chilies, a bunch of green onions. You're gonna need some cream cheese and some yogurt. This is Greek yogurt, but you can use regular. And a cup and a half of jack cheese. You're gonna need a 12 ounce bottle or can of enchilada sauce. You're gonna need half a cup of salsa. This is paste picante. And six tortillas. First, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So you're gonna slice up those mushrooms as thick or as thin as you prefer. And now you're gonna cut up those green onions. I love the crunch of green onions in anything. You're gonna add the oil to a pan and on medium heat, you're gonna add that butter, wait till that melts and then saute your mushrooms. These are looking great. Now when those are already sauteed, you're gonna add your diced green chilies, you're gonna add the green onions, the yogurt, the cream cheese, and the flour. And you're just gonna stir all that together until it thickens. That is looking like a nice consistency right there. All melted. Now in a medium bowl, you're gonna add the salsa, as well as the enchilada sauce, and you're gonna combine that. Just use a big wooden spoon there. And now we're gonna grease our casserole dish. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there, use a paper towel to grease up all the sides. And now we're gonna spoon about a half a cup of the enchilada mixture on the bottom of the casserole dish. Make sure it covers every corner of that dish. Now we're gonna place two corn tortillas on the bottom right there. And now you're gonna add about half of that mushroom mixture on top of those tortillas there. Mmm, -mm, looking delicious. Next, you're gonna add a little bit more enchilada sauce on there. There's no real precise measurements here. I'm just getting enough so it kind of covers it and leaving enough for the rest of the layers. Adding that jack cheese there, about a third of it putting two more corn tortillas there, starting the next layer. And let's add the rest of the mushroom mixture on top there. Looking good. I'm gonna add some more enchilada mixture on there, as well as some more jack cheese, put some more corn tortillas on top there, some more enchilada sauce, that's the rest of it and sprinkle the rest of the cheese on there. And you are good to go. That looks delicious. So let's pop it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350 degrees, make sure to cover it. After 30 minutes, take that foil off and bake for 10 more minutes. And this is what it's gonna look like. It is so delicious, guys. Let's get our taste tester. So it is ready, we've got our taste tester here. Yes, yes. Mm. Give me your evaluation. I'm, mm. really, I'm really hungry. I want to eat something. <laughs> it's so good. The first time we ever tried it, Justin's mom, she made it and she got it from like a really old Sunset Sun, magazine. Sunset magazine. My mom, I what, have this vivid year? memory in this in late 70s, she said. Oh I have a really vivid memory of her always getting her recipes out of that magazine. And I, I believe this came from that. Because mm -hmm. she like made this for us when she was visiting one time and we've made it several times since because it mm -hmm. is like... It is so good, you guys. Yeah, it's good. It's so easy to make. You just it's get really like easy. the store-bought enchiladas. Right, right. It's so easy. And also, this is mushroom. Justin added like mm -hmm. double the mushroom. Yeah. But you can also add chicken in yeah, it. Yeah, you can you add want. meat, chicken, Shrimp. beef. Yeah, and I, I use low-fat, even low-fat cream cheese in here. So, it, you know, it, you can add whatever you want in here. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. It's good. It's pretty spicy. If you don't want it super spicy, either don't add as much diced chilies or maybe not. Like, add the salsa in addition to the... Uh, 
the enchilada sauce, but we really like it spicy. So. Yeah, it's so good. It's good for entertaining yeah, like, it a really bunch is. of people. You can, you can make like a big batch. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's just so delicious. I recommend it. You guys try it for dinner or lunch one time. Yeah, let us know. Tweet mm -hmm. us a uh, picture if you end up making it. Uh, we mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this recipe. Let us know if you have any other recipes you want us to make down in the comments. Yeah, yeah. And, and give this video a thumbs yeah. up if you want Justin to do this monthly because <laughs> I think he should do it monthly because right, this food right. is good. All right, well, yeah. we'll see you guys next time. Bye.